What is going on boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another mod install. Now, this is something that I've done on my previous cars. It's actually a fairly common mod. It's something very simple and it's definitely something that you can do. So, if you are interested in something like this, because it's going to be a pretty easy install, I've done quite a few things to the exterior of this car, but I haven't really touched the interior. And one of the things I wanted to do is change these. E e e e e. Oh, well that one doesn't work. What I mean by changing these is you physically change the bulb. Because it's quite an old car, you've got bulbs that are like fairly old, like probably that haven't even been like changed or they're still the same bulb that was in there when I bought the car. We are going to be updating them to LEDs. Compared to what's in the car at the minute, the LEDs are so much more brighter. I don't know what I'm doing like with all of these in stores. It's kind of a common theme now, but yeah, we're going to go and get into this. I'm going to show you guys what to do. I'm going to do a full kind of tutorial. If you guys are interested in anything like this, I actually bought this from eBay. There's kits for like every single car. So I'll link the one that I exactly used uh, and I'll link the just page where you can get them from. This is the kit that I purchased. It's pretty lucky kind of universal kit but it's tailored to my car so on here it's labeled Audi TT this is definitely the one for mine so I'm going to show you now what's included with this kit the trunk the two in the trunk that I showed you before we have the sun visors one for here we have front dome which is for here and the last thing we have the glove box so with this actual kit you get one of these now it's a bit of like a pry bar type of thing so you can kind of get behind trim i think the first ones i'm going to try are these ones here i'm guessing it's just going to be let me let me just let me just cut in for one second what i said next is 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 yeah it's uh, it's wrong because i actually broke this so what you actually need to do when you take this down is that if you have a look on the side there is like a pin here like a clip and you get behind it like this and you push it and then you can kind of pull it out and it comes out like that you remove this backing plate here which is simply just kind of get your nail behind you have full access to the bulb here you don't do what i did and pull this front cover off because that's bad. Put the new one in and boom. Perfect. This one as well also pulls out exactly the same as the other side. Get the clip on the left hand side. And obviously once you do one, ensure that you check it, see if it works. All right, let's do this one. So this one here, you have to get the prying tool behind this bit here. You can kind of see the clip behind it and you have to get the prying tool behind this one. Hope this time I don't break this one considering I broke this one. But let's, let's, yeah, let's not talk about that. So in here we have three balls. We have this one, which is controlled by this switch, this one, the main one, and this one is controlled is is a uh, um hmm i don't know um yeah so that one's broken as well apparently so these ones here the two bigger ones that you see them two they will go on the sides and then this one at the end that sorry this one here that will go in the middle just here because it's a bigger one We have them all in now. So we have the middle one in that's been changed and then there were two at the ends. I'm a little bit unsure with the two at the ends though because these bulbs are a lot bigger than these ones here, but it still should work. So we're gonna test them now. So one at the end. Yeah, that one works, them two work. And all three are on there, perfect. The next ones, what do we do? Let's do, let's do the glove box. Let's do the one in here. So, as you just saw, all you have to do is pull this down. You can kind of get your thing like there's, again, there's a clip just here. You 
can use your tool again just to pry kind of pry it in there and you can pull it out nice and easy so the next thing we're going to be using is the glove box so we're going to get this one in now we are going to test it Pick it on the lights and there we go now that's tested we know it works we can go and pull it back up in this little hole here but look at the difference it makes you can actually see stuff now we've pretty much done every kind of light that's kind of in in the front of the car we still need to do the rear now there's two lights that i showed you there's one here and there's also one at the side i'm going to show you how rubbish they are because they literally don't do anything if you do want to make like a little kind of change to your car that you don't want to spend a lot of money or anything like that this makes probably the biggest difference because it just kind of updates the car it makes things just look better like you can put better lights in in your headlights already put xenons and hrds and stuff and it just makes the car look newer and doing this to the inside as well it just helps i mean it's just so much nicer having that white light instead of just horrible orangey color it's so much so much nicer and they give off so much more hey they give off so much more light as well so it's perfect so i'm pretty sure the ones in the rear as well excuse my horrible mess yeah i'm pretty sure the ones in the rear are just going to be exactly the same and same like they're going to be easy as well by the looks of this one it's like i think you're going to have to prize it from this point here and pull it out so let's go do that that is now in that's the white light i mean look at the difference guys look at this white light horrible yellow light we don't we don't like this this is this is ugh. hey so this again it's nice and easy just kind of push it back in just like that easy make sure it works obviously it works because it's on now like the last one make sure all the wire goes in sorry my hands in the way make sure the wire goes on there we go the wire's gone in make sure you push it all the way to the back there and then push it in just like that and there you have it guys that is it done that was so easy i cannot stress guys how easy that was it was such an easy install so these are the things we did we changed changed this one here we changed that we changed this one as well we did this that one and that one two reading ones we actually fixed this one because this bulb was out so that's good and we fixed that that one comes on also the one in the glove box and then obviously the ones behind it's kind of just just here and then the one just underneath there if you go to the ebay listing that i went to if i'm pretty sure you can go onto their lot website and you can put your car details in and it'll bring up the exact kit you need but yeah this was super easy it was like 15 pound it's well worth doing it really does as well i cannot stress this enough it just updates your car it just makes it kind of look a little bit cleaner a little bit crisper which is nice a simple mod nice and cheap easy to do like me if you don't really know much about cars it's it's easy but yeah enough of me talking i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching i'm sorry as well i didn't post in the last week like i thought i'd be able to get time to edit and stuff nah none of that happened but yeah hope you guys as well enjoyed all of the snow just as much as i did it was so frustrating because when i was away i was seeing people going drifting and stuff and, and it was snowing more over where i was in the uk and it was just yeah it sucked but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the snow thank you guys so much for watching i've been josh that was my pov peace out guys say you wanna get away we don't need a plane could be your escape take you to a place where there's no time no